So the next set of products we'll discuss is the Falcon Facility Monitoring Solutions. Uh, these are neat products because they're really designed to integrate a multiple different set of sensors and equipment anytime, anywhere uh, for the purpose of notification and visibility. The device is built with software and a web user interface, so there are no additional software fees or maintenance costs, and it has the ability to alarm once it exceeds a configurable condition. The, uh, the, the system also passes critical information via BACnet, Modbus, and SNMP, and access a master uh, to 32 subordinate devices. It has a whole boatload of uh, I.O. options to be able to add to that. Another neat feature is the nesting uh, status alarm notifications that are also able to drill down into different environments. What can you connect to it? Almost anything. Uh, like I said, anything BACnet, Modbus, or SNMP all has the ability to connect into this device and push out to another or for a monitoring perspective, uh, simply sit in there and uh, an alarm on conditions when met. So the Falcon line has a, a variety of uh, uh, devices that fit inside of this platform, starting with the F200 we talked about during the leak detection. It's robust capabilities to incorporate eight digital inputs <coughs> as well as a relay output, Talks Modbus IP. Uh, it also has uh, IP links, but then, as I mentioned uh, prior, also auto discovers some of our temperature probes, so simplicity of deployment, as well as the uh, robust nature of being able to integrate this or be standalone uh, is a very attractive option. The FMS has a 1RU and a 2RU option. Obviously, the 2RU gives you much more scalability from an I.O. perspective. Uh, but then you can also see it, it's also going to talk the Modbus, BACnet, and SNMP protocols. So being able to even leverage this as an aggregator for different devices on a network and then pushing out to an enterprise or, again, leveraging it as the enterprise monitoring platform, uh, both are great options. So the last product in the Falcon lineup is the Wing Manager. Uh, this is an awesome platform that can handle up to 400 transmitters and sensors when leveraging a range extender. It talks 900 megahertz here in the States and 868 overseas. It has a variety of communication protocols available. Uh, but really where I see the value is being able to monitor such a variety of different sensing options. Simply, easily, affordably, and uh, uh, simple to deliver to the end user and even integrate with. Temperature, temperature humidity, wireless leak detection, digital inputs for maybe a door contact closure, or um, um, you can use it for a pump failure that would have a relay closure. The analog input would have a 0 to 20 milliamp maybe for a CT or a 0 to 5 volt or 0 to 10 volt for other um, sensing options outputs. Literally any sensor output that fits one of those three can be delivered wirelessly through the wing manager. There's a thermistor option, building pressure, uh, 1K ohm maybe for uh, duct systems or even a refrigerator. Uh, there's uh, air velocity that we've come out with. So uh, the auto discovery inside of this wing manager really does simplify the way that it operates, sets up, integrates, and uh, it, it's, just, it, it's just a powerful tool uh, that's quite honestly fun to play with. When considering a wireless system, you really have to look at the battery life of the transmitters and the overall uh, lifetime cost of the, of the system. Uh, when you deploy a wing platform, uh, we designed it so that you have a battery life that far exceeds what any normal maintenance plan may even ask for. Uh, it's up to a 12-year battery life with a 3.6-volt lithium AA battery. Uh, now, when I say that, the other difference, too, about our platform is that it's transmitting every 10 to 20 seconds back to the gateway. So we're not taking just a 15-minute data capture and sending it. You know, literally, we're seeing it about as real time as it can get. So uh, having this battery life capability and the, and the reliability of the transmission rates, I think, is one of the things that really separates our transmissions uh, for the wing platform. So replacing batteries costs money. If you're doing it regularly, why do wireless? The other thing, too, is if it can't transmit very far, why not just run a wire? So our operating distances are 600 feet line of sight, and I've literally walked through three walls, one of which was block, and still went over 120 feet without a range extender. So the operating distances in which uh, our, our platform can communicate is, is very robust. Uh, the range extender, when you add to the uh, wing platform, uh, is going to add a, up to an additional 1,000 feet of um, distance to get back to the gateway 
uh, which is ultimately aggregating all the data for visibility, control, monitoring, and alerting, even trending. So uh, the architecture in which the wing platform sits on is, uh, is, is a uh, sensor to uh, gateway or a sensor slash transmitter to a range extender, the range extender to the gateway. So it is, uh, if it does exceed the normal operating parameters, uh, no sweat, the wing manager is affordable enough, lay out a, a secondary wing manager and, uh, and, and rinse and repeat uh, to deliver the outcome that you're looking for. Now I see this as a value in a variety of ways, not only for the data center community, uh, for the denseness of how many transmitters we can get into all those data cabinets and the reliability of the signal, but I also see it being, uh, uh, you know, in the uh, building automation world, a player to assist in the delivery of IP-based control or adding sensory inputs for advanced control or analytics or even leveraging the uh, ability of the uh, wing manager and its trending capabilities and even the ability to log in remotely and, and, and dive into what's actually occurring in real time uh, and ability to deliver even possibly some commissioning opportunities. And without further ado, let me go ahead and introduce to you our new product launched here in the last week, which is the Wi-Fi Temp Humidity Sensor. It, uh, it transmits over the 2.4 gigahertz network, uh, monitors both temperature and humidity if brought into a, 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 a wing manager, can even do calculated dew point, uh, can be configured to transmit every one to 30 minute intervals and has a battery life, obviously, would have to range in between that uh, between two and seven years. This sensor is also going to include the standard um, security protocols, but once again, RLE is innovating a product to help uh, simplify the way that uh, data is collected, managed, stored, alarmed on, and delivered into a variety of different systems. Again, it could be a DSIM system, it could be an automation system, it could be an analytics platform. Uh, the, the growth and development and innovation of this platform is going to continue to grow, so uh, should you have questions or want to see some of these different products live and in action, get your hands on them. Please contact your local partner and, uh, and, and get a hold of them and, and truly see it uh, as there's also demos available on the website uh, to be able to log in and see some of the operating software, which we'll demonstrate here shortly. Now, we've touched on this platform a couple times now, the F200. Uh, as promised, we'll get into uh, some of the demo capabilities, but really this is the user interface that you would log into and see. Uh, simply with the auto discover sensors, literally you plug them in, they pop up on the screen. Uh, so you have the, the four lines for temp humidity sensors. There's a spot for leak detection. There is eight digital inputs. Uh, you can bring in a, a number of different IP camera links. There's a relay output. Uh, so it does talk Modbus IP uh, as well as has a standard user interface. So uh, the ability to trend an alarm out of this thing is going to be uh, extremely simple. And, uh, you know, even setup can be done in probably 15 minutes or less to be straight with you. All right, so I've come to our website here at rletech.com uh, just to show you where you can find a, a demo of the Wing Manager software as well as a few of the other products if you were to select around You'll see a little product demo box here on the left with any of the products that do have that user interface. You can connect and see a, a software demo of that. And I also wanted to show some of the other resources that are available under this tab, the standard uh, data, sh data sheet, but then also a quick start guide and the user guide to get into some of the more advanced uh, style programming and setup. Uh, clicking into the actual web user interface of this demo system, I want to kind of note the uh, navigation tree here on the left, which uh, based on my credentials, I don't have access to everything here for this demo, but uh, all of your sensors are laid out, your wireless network metrics, as well as the alarms. Uh, if we scroll across the top, you can see the active sensors, the total sensors, offline warning alarms, as well as any standard active alarms that exist. Uh, I believe Ryan has a, a leak in his office he needs to uh, acknowledge. And then the uh, relay one and two here is if uh, one of the conditional measures are, are met, uh, if you are using one of those relays to activate uh, something else, this will show uh, the status of that relay. If you're ever trying to add an additional sensor after you've already auto-discovered everything in, naturally you want to shut that off after this goes into production mode. 
um, you can simply select this button here to add the additional sensor when it's in hand and then refreshing the data as well as your, your sign in and out. Uh, I do want to note all of this information that is portrayed here on this screen uh, is, is obviously critical to your uh, monitoring capabilities and needs. So uh, the name, the location, the serial number of the actual transmitter and sensor, the reading of that data, um, uh, and then this one I, I, I really like showing because it's the age of the data. I mentioned earlier it's you know a 10 to 20 seconds uh, random interval in which the data gets accumulated back into the gateway. Uh, this is how old the data is per transmitter uh, that's communicating back. Uh, there's also a battery status and life on each of the, 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 the sensors and transmitters as well as the status. So if it has not communicated in X amount of time, uh, this will get a warning signal as well and you can set up those alarms too. So as you can see, there's temp, temp humidity, there's differential air pressure that, that we're monitoring in the server room. Uh, the server fan, uh, we have the velocity that we're, we're measuring as well, uh, an RTD, so this is in the uh, crack discharge uh, part of the, the system, so we know what the air temperature is that's being discharged out of the crack unit. Uh, there's also a variety of other sensing options as previously described, but uh, I do want to go ahead and select into one of these. We'll select this guy here, number two. Uh, this is going to give you also, when you drill down, a little more information about the trending uh, capabilities that are available so uh, you kind of know where you're at and when, uh, right? I mean, you're trending this on the unit, so uh, this, the, you're not going to get a, a three years of, of trending capability stored on this unit uh, based on how many. Uh, you know, it's going to vary, but if you are looking to store this data, uh, you know, an enterprise system um, uh, where you can store this on a server or even just download this CSV file every month or so, uh, I would certainly give you that capability. But, you know, as we get into the wireless network metrics, this particular sensor has a strong network, uh, as you can see with the RSSI A and B. Those are the different um, uh, antennas that they're, they're talking to, as well as the range extender that's in our building. And then uh, I also want to make sure to note all of the sensor objects that are available via the Modbus, BACnet, and SNMP. So, you know, when you're integrating this system into one of the other DSIM or back, uh, building automation uh, systems that exist in the market, our engineering has done everything they can to make this as simple as possible. And for more information, please contact your local Cochrane office.